Hey, I'm Taryn, the vaccine mom. I'm a molecular biologist and mother of two. Back in the 30s, a preservative called thimerosal was introduced into vaccines to keep bacteria and fungus from growing in multi-dose vaccine vials. They added small amounts of thimerosal to the vials because each time a dose is taken from a multi-dose vial with a new needle, there is the potential for contamination, which could be deadly to the person getting the shot. Having safe, multi-dose vials of vaccines available to us to use is very important, especially when a large number of people need to be vaccinated quickly, which could be the case during the flu, coronavirus, or other disease outbreak. Thimerosal is made from a type of mercury called ethyl mercury. Ethyl mercury is very different and much safer than methyl mercury, which is the kind of mercury found in fish like tuna and other foods, drinks, and everyday products. Methyl mercury accumulates in the body and takes much longer for the body to process and remove. Ethyl mercury, on the other hand, is shown to be quickly eliminated by the body. After many studies and many years of monitoring, there's no evidence to suggest that thimerosal poses any health risks. Credible studies confirm over and over again that there's no link between thimerosal and autism or other developmental delay or disorders. See the studies yourself by going to the vaccine research page on the Vaccinate Your Family website. In 2001, the U.S. removed thimerosal from childhood vaccines in an effort to reduce overall mercury exposure among infants and replaced multi-dose vials with single-use vials. Today, all of the vaccines that children under the age of six are given are thimerosal free except for certain flu vaccines that come in multi-dose vials. If you are still concerned, you can ask your health care provider to give your child the single dose thimerosal free version of the flu vaccine instead. But again, research shows thimerosal is overwhelmingly safe.